In 4.5, we're going to try and enter transactions into ledgers without the transaction tool. So we'll just enter them straight into that. So the first one we've got is the owner deposited $150,000 to commence business. So cash is going to increase, so that'll be a debit. And capital is going to increase, so that'll be a credit. Make sure we get our referencing right. In the debit uh, reference, we need to write capital. And on the credit side, we need to reference cash at bank. The second transaction, purchase premises for $720,000, paying $120,000 cash and the rest finance of the loan from NAB Finance. So let's take the two amounts separately. Let's take the premises of cash $120,000. I'm just going to take the cash part on the first transaction and match it up with a credit in the cash ledger. Secondly, we'll add in $600,000 to the premises ledger and this time we'll reference loan. And then we'll go to loan, which is a liability, and make a credit of $600,000. Our referencing, so the debit will reference cash at bank on the credit side, and the credit in cash at bank will reference premises. And then the second debit will reference loan, and the last credit will reference premises. June 3rd, bought stock for $15,000 cash plus GST of 1500 uh, Assets are increasing, so that'll be a debit into stock. We're paying GST, so that reduces our liability. And lastly, we've paid money, so an asset is going to decrease on the credit side. Getting our referencing right, the debits will just reference cash at bank, but the cash at bank reference on the credit side needs to reference stock and GST. Bought office equipment for $4,500 cash plus GST of $450. We've got an asset going up, which is a debit. We've got a liability going down because we've paid GST. And lastly, an asset in the form of cash is going to decrease because we've paid money and for an asset and some GST. So our debit references will reference cash at bank and our credit reference will reference office equipment slash GST. Purchased $18,000 of stock on credit and was charged $1,800 GST. So stock's gone up, 18,000. Again, being charged GST, the, the uh, entry is going to be the same. What's going to be different is instead of decreasing an asset in the form of cash, we're going to increase a liability called creditors. So the references will just change a little bit. On the debit side, we're going to reference creditors instead of cash at bank. Um, but on the credit side, our reference will be stock slash GST. Sold goods for cash, $4,200 plus GST of $420, cost price $900. Let's just deal with the sale amount first. The business has got more cash, so that'll be a debit going up $4,620. We've collected GST, so that's a liability. And we've made a revenue of uh, sales, so that'll be a credit for $4,200. So the two debits equal the, uh, sorry, the one debit equals the two credits there. We need to get our referencing right. So in the debit reference, we're doing sales slash GST. And both uh, credit references will just reference the cash at bank ledger. Now let's deal with the cost of that sale. That was a $900 expense called cost of sale. So that'll be a debit. And we've got less stock in the form of assets. So that'll be a credit. Straight referencing, the debit will reference the stock ledger and the credit will reference cost of sales. Paid wages of $450. We've got a debit to wages as an expense is going up and a credit to cash at bank because an asset is decreasing. The wages uh, ledger needs to reference cash at bank and cash at bank, the credit must reference the wages ledger. We've got um, June the 7th invoice clients for credit sales, $5,800 plus GST with a cost price of $2,500. So this time, instead of cash at bank going up, the asset debtors will go up 6380, which is the revenue of 5800 plus the GST of 580. We've charged GST, so that increases our liability. And we've also made revenue, and that's gone up, so that'll be a credit. The one debit there will match the two credits, so we need to reference sales slash GST. But for the credit entries, we've just got one entry or reference to debtors. Let's deal with the cost of sale. So the cost price of this sale was $2,500. That's an expense, so that'll be a debit. And we have an asset going down, which will be a credit. The referencing will be uh, stock will reference, uh, sorry, cost of sales will reference stock. And the cost of sales reference will be to the stock ledger. 